Hey everyone, I'm Sky. Have you noticed the crazy changes in weather patterns over the last couple of years? For example, winter is just not as cold anymore, and summer? Record breakingly hot? Well, yes, exactly. Did you know that in the last decade we have experienced the hottest temperatures in 125,000 years, and that the ocean has absorbed minimally 80%? of the heat we produced. We have seen and heard the horror stories of glaciers melting, the ozone layer thinning, and the human way of life causing some serious damage. But what exactly does that mean? In this video, we are going to look at how what we do on our planet leads to climate change and what we can do to slowly solve the problem. Let's begin by looking at it like this. Climate refers to weather patterns of a certain area, specifically over a long period of time. As the years and decades go by, we notice a dramatic shift in the way these weather patterns behave. These changes are controlled by natural and human processes. Unfortunately for us, climate change is happening way too fast and our planet simply cannot keep up. The more human life develops, the more we need. More shelter, more food, more infrastructure, and ultimately more space. Which means we have to take out a lot of nature's protective elements to satisfy these needs. But wait a minute, Sky. How exactly does this impact weather patterns that cause climate change? Well, Eden, in order for the average person to have an improved lifestyle, we have to make use of non-renewable energy sources. Burning different fossil fuels such as oil, coal or gas for use in homes, factories, transportation and for the development of infrastructure leads to greenhouse gases trapping the sun's heat in the atmosphere. Trapping the sun's heat causes our planet's temperature to rise. It is like having a permanent fever or being trapped inside a car with the windows closed on a very hot day. This is both unhealthy and uncomfortable. It increases global warming, which causes our planet to die. Now do you see why we have to understand the toxic relationship between Earth and climate change? As I mentioned before, Human activity is the primary source of greenhouse emissions. The increase in carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide causes extreme stress to our atmosphere because it traps solar energy. Scientists and environment experts have worked around the clock to find evidence that proves heat waves and droughts, floods and severe storms, as well as rising sea levels are triggered and intensified by the ongoing climate change caused by human influence and emissions of greenhouse gases. Sky, is there anything we can do to slow down the effects of climate change? Absolutely, Eden. There are so many impactful ways to encourage sustainable living, and I would say it starts at home. Here are three ways to get started with sustainability that reduces emissions of greenhouse gases. Number one, unplug and unpower devices at home or school to save energy. Number two, go green. Plant some veggies or a baby tree to give back to the earth what we take out. And number three, our ultimate favorite, reuse, reduce and recycle. In the next video, we will reveal some of the most important facts about greenhouse gases and how we use or abuse them every day. Save our planet one step at a time. Your choice, your change.